Well, good morning and welcome to another edition of Behind the Scenes here at the Historical Society. And I know we're closed to the public due to COVID-19, but that doesn't mean that I'm not responding to researchers' uh, questions. And one that I wanted to share with you today was real interesting because of the fact it comes from a gentleman in the UK who had purchased a domestic engine. It's a Type F or Model F that was made in 1920. And he was looking for information on this. So I went through our archives and I found a lot of information that actually was able to help him. First one was an actual owner's manual. And the owner's manual, as we all know, basically tells you the how-tos and what-to-dos when things aren't working properly or how to take care of it. So this 12 page catalog here actually was very beneficial to him because he had never seen that before. Another thing that I dug up for him was the, the stats for the spark advance and battery ignition. And then I went through some of the old catalogs and this one here is from 1921 and I was able to give him some more information about what it was that he had as well as the characteristics just a lot of valuable information in these old catalogs here and then I was able to even provide him with a parts list for his model and how much the parts cost, at least in 1921. So for an example, if you were looking for a speed lever stud, they cost 10 cents a piece. But as I was digging through these boxes to get information for him, I found a lot of interesting um, artifacts, such as tape reels, photographs, this photograph here was in 1963 inside the experimental test floor area, this photograph here shows the model type A engines that were manufactured between 1912 and 1915. I love this one because it's got the uh, saw blade on it, so you know that this engine here went to a lumber yard most likely. And of course the photograph that we have in our collection, we have quite a few photographs, but this one here was taken in 1909 when one of the uh, areas had broke out into a fire. Another cool piece is from February 10th, 1976. But then I got down to the bottom of one of the boxes and I actually found ledgers. So here's an account book from uh, July, uh, January 4th, 1911 to April 30th, 1913. This one here is a ledger, a payroll ledger from September 7th, 1907 to Christmas Eve of 1909. So if you had an ancestor who worked there during that time period, he will be recorded in here. And last but not least, we also have a ledger here um, with the stockholders meeting minutes from April 15th, 1904 to December 10th, 1929. And I love the writing in here. I wish my cursive was as nice as that. So, as far as the domestic pump 
um, excuse me, the domestic engine and pumps works. The Shippensburg branch was founded here in 1904, began production in 1905. Between 1905 and 1952, more than 30,000 engines were built here in Shippensburg. It absolutely amazes me how things that were manufactured in a small town such as Shippensburg has made its way over to Gettysburg National Military Park with the Edder Pump. One of his pumps sits right in front of the National Cemetery. In Waynesboro, there was a pump that was manufactured in the mid-1800s that they're getting ready to install over at Renfrew. And then, of course, I get this gentleman from the UK. Until then, folks, I hope everybody stays safe, take care out there, and we'll see you next time.